learning objectives for this module will be an understanding of how to create and work with maps and web pages within the workspace of the Avigilon Control Center client software. The Avigilon Control Center client is divided into five different areas that will be referenced throughout Avigilon University training modules. The menu bar, the toolbar, the system explorer, the timeline, and the workspace. To create a new map, you can right-click on Maps in the System Explorer and select the New Map menu option or select New Map under File in the menu bar. The next step to create a new map is to specify the graphic file to be used as the background for the map. Any standard image file can be used, including JPEGs, bitmaps, or PNG files. Once you've found the file you wish to use, you can double-click it or click Open. To add any item to the map, simply drag and drop that element onto the map. The available items that can be displayed on a map include a camera, a server, a saved view, or even a link to another map. When adding a camera to a map, there are a few additional options available for how the camera is displayed on the map. By default, the camera is shown as a camera icon with a yellow field of view. The width of the field of view can be adjusted by clicking and dragging the corners with the left mouse button. The field of view can be rotated by selecting the round black dot at the end of the field of view and clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. You also have the option on the left hand side to have a camera appear as a clickable area on a map. For example, rather than having it shown as a field of view, I could select to show it as a clickable area on the map. I can choose to show this area as a square, circle, or polygon. If I select Polygon, I can draw out an easily identified area. Another option available when adding a camera to a map is to change the image region associated with the map area or icon. This allows you to configure an area or icon to automatically bring up a digitally zoomed region from a camera. For example, here I could create a single area on one parking space and have the image region set to automatically bring up the video digitally zoomed on that parking space. Once you have added all the items you wish displayed on your map, Give the map a name. Finally, click Save to save the created map. To use a map, select it from the System Explorer and click and drag it with the left mouse button to the image panel where you would like it displayed. Once added, you can left click on an element on the map to open the associated video in an available image panel, or click and drag any element to display it on, on a specific image panel. For our next topic, we'll discuss how to view web pages within the Vigilon Control Center client workspace. Any content that can be displayed on a standard web page can be displayed within an image panel in the Vigilon Control Center client. To create a web page, right-click on Web Pages within the System Explorer and select New Web Page, or select New Web Page under File using the menu bar. On the Add Web Page dialog, enter a name for the web page and the web address, or URL, for the content to be displayed. If desired, you can change the level of zoom applied to the web page when displayed in an image panel. By default, the content will be automatically zoomed to fit horizontally within the image panel. Click OK to create the web page. To view a web page in an image panel, click and drag it from the System Explorer using the left mouse button onto the desired image panel. When viewing a web page inside an image panel, you can use the same controls as a web browser to click on links. The controls at the top allow you to move forward and back between web pages, refresh, or you can click the house to be returned to the stored web address for this web page. You can also click the magnifying glass to change the zoom level currently applied. Thank you for your attention. You should now have a thorough understanding of creating and using maps and web pages within the Avigilon Control Center client.